Hey friends, it's Len here at 1A Auto. Today I want to talk to you about something super cool, wheel spacers. Super easy job, I can do it and you can do it too. They're fairly basic. What it does is it spaces out your wheel. So in case you went ahead and you did something like this, a nice beautiful fender flare from 1A Auto, you'll notice the wheel sunk in a little bit. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. If you don't, get yourself a spacer, make sure you get the right measurements and everything because they all come in different lug patterns and different sizes and whatnot. And when you do that, you need to make sure you get one of these, which is a hub centric. That just goes into the back of this, goes right up against the wheel bearing itself, and it locks it in nice and firm so you're not using only your lug nuts to stabilize. All that said, let's show you how it's done. So what we're hoping to do is to go from something like this, where it's nice and deep inside there, meh, to something more along the lines of this, where we're almost to where it comes out past the fender flare but of course it doesn't come past the fender flare. We don't want to be illegal or anything like that. All right. I think that this looks much better. Gives it a much wider stance. It's going to increase stability. And uh, I can't wait to get the whole thing done. So let's do it. Okay, so the wheels that we're going to be doing, we're going to take off all the lug nuts. You're going to grab your socket, use your ratchet or your air gun, whatever you've got. If you're using an air gun, make sure you're wearing eye protection. <laughs> We'll set this out of the way. So something that's an absolute must is you have to use thread locker on your original studs. You can be generous with this. I'm not gonna get mad at you. It's not very expensive and it's definitely worth the amount of safety that it's, uh, it's adding. Last thing you want is the lug nuts that hold your spacers to the truck to come loose just because you, know, you didn't put on a little bit of thread locker. I'm gonna leave that just like that. We've got our hub centric here. We have our spacer. It's just gonna go in here like this. I'm just gonna bonk it in there. There we are. And that is the adapter that makes it so it fits directly around this. If you got just the spacers without the adapter, you can see how big of a hole it has, right? I'll slide this right over this. And you can see that it's sitting right along that which is perfect because it's going to add structural integrity. So now you're not just going to be holding on by just the lug nuts that are going to be in here. It's very important. It only costs a couple extra bucks and it's worth every cent. Some people will skip right past that part and they're like, eh, don't do it. Take these lug nuts that came with them. Just get that on there. You need to make sure every time you ever take these off, you reapply your thread locker, okay? If you're checking your brakes, anything that you might do, that you would have to take these off, reapply thread locker. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna torque down these lug nuts to the same specification that your manufacturer recommends for torquing on the wheels. If your manufacturer recommends 100 for torquing on your wheels, 100. 125 like this vehicle, 125. Whatever the application may be, that's what you torque those down to. They need to be torqued. I put my bar here. It's gonna help keep this from spinning once it gets into the locked position. Now that we torqued them one time, I'm just gonna go around one more time, just to be sure. It's a small price to pay for safety. Generally speaking, you wanna go in a crisscross pattern. It's a little bit difficult to do when you're using the pry bar method. So I'm gonna go with, it is what it is. And see if I can get this bar situated. All of those are torqued. We're gonna do the same to every wheel that we're doing this with. So here we are, friends. We've got our wheel adapters on here. We use the lug nuts that came with the wheel adapters. We use plenty of thread locker on there. We did not skimp on the thread locker. And when we put on the lug nuts, we made sure to torque them to manufacturer's specifications. That's the specifications that the truck or the vehicle that you're applying them to asks for to torque the wheels on, okay? You're gonna use the same exact torque specifications. My application was 125 foot-pounds. Your vehicle may be different. So don't use the 125. Make sure you go by your vehicle's manufacturer's specifications. We know that we have this nice and tight. Now it's time to get the wheel on. Grab your wheel, bring it to your leg. Give it a nice little lift. You can use your ab muscles. There it is. Grab a couple of these lug nuts. We'll just start them on here for now. Once we have them all started, we'll bottom them out 
bring the vehicle down and torque them down. Time to bottom out these lug nuts. I'm gonna use my socket, my air gun, and of course my safety glasses. Now that they're all bottomed out, we'll bring the vehicle down and torque them to manufacturer specifications. Okay friends, so now it's time to make sure we torque up our lug nuts. You're gonna use the same socket you used to remove the lug nuts and install them. Torque your lug nuts to your manufacturer specifications. You're gonna go in a crisscross pattern, try to make a nice pretty star. The reason for going in a crisscross pattern or making a star pattern is just so hopefully the wheel will be sitting perfectly straight up against the spacer there. If you start going just around in a circle, a lot of times what can happen is it can come off kilter a little bit. And you think you have it tight and the torque wrench might even tell you that it's tight by clicking. But then you go ahead down the road and you hit yourself a bump and everything breaks free. And next thing you know, your lug nuts are coming loose. And I don't want anything bad to happen to any of you. I love you all. There we go. We've got all these tight. We're gonna do the same to every wheel that we did the wheel spacers on, and then down the road you go. Easy peasy. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.